My presentation report and organization management. Name, Blanca. Resume C. Grade, 11 Gasse. Section, Nick Joaquin. The nature and levels of planning and types of plans. Nature of planning is the conscious, systematic process of making decisions about goals and activities that an organization will pursue in the future. Planning is essentially a process to determine and implement actions to achieve organizational objectives. The following are the essential characteristics of planning which describe the nature of planning. 1. Planning is primary. Function of management. The functions of management are broadly classified as planning, organization, direction, and control. 2. Planning focuses on objectives advertisements. Planning is a process to determine the objectives or goals of an enterprise. 3. Planning is a function of all managers. Every manager must plan. A manager at a higher level has to devote more time to planning as compared to person. Lower level. 4. Planning as an intellectual process. Planning is a mental work basically concerned with thinking. Before doing, it is an intellectual process and involves creative thinking and imagination. 5. Planning as a continuous process. Planning is a continuous and permanent process and has no end. 6. Planning is dynamic flexible. Advertisements. Planning is a dynamic function in the sense that the changes and modifications are continuously done in the plan course of action on account of changes in business environment. 7. Planning secures efficiency, economy, and accuracy. A prerequisite of planning is that it should lead to the attainment of objectives as the least cost. 8. Planning involves forecasting. Planning largely depends upon accurate business forecasting, the scientific techniques of forecasting. 9. Planning and linking factors. Advertisements. A plan should be formulated in the light of limiting factors which may be any one of M's viz. Men, money, machines, materials, and management. 10. Planning is realistic. A plan always outline the results to be attained and as it is realistic in nature. Levels of planning. Board level. Strategic. Long-term planning. Considers the whole organization. High degree of uncertainty. Middle level. Tactical. Medium term. Management's use of existing assets. Junior management. Operational. Short term. Day-to-day -day plans. Detailed. Types of plans. Strategic planning is management process for defining a company's long-term vision, direction, and action. Tactical planning is the practice of prioritizing tasks and delegating them to team members in a way that will get the task accomplished. Contingency planning is important for any business because there is always the possibility of unforeseen changes. Operational planning is used to define the processes, procedures, and tasks that are needed to effectively coordinate the physical resources involved in an operation. Reflection. Planning is important as by nature it inquires about organizational goals and involves decision-making about desired ways and means to achieve goals.